Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and another welcome to another Wirecast tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Facebook Live and adding that into your system and, uh, and, and how you can do that. There's two different ways to do it. One I recommend, one I don't. And uh, hey, you can check everything out over at geekazine.com. Think Magazine, put in a geek. Jeffrey Powers here. Geekazine's my Twitter handle. You know, all that other good stuff. So, so today, <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use Wirecast to do your Facebook Live. And it's actually pretty simple. There's two ways to do it. One way causes way too many problems. The other way is probably the best way to do this. So we're going to we're gonna flip over here. But before we do, I just want to let you know if you, have, if you ever want to uh, thank me for any of these videos that I do, you can feel free to tip me by going over to paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. Paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. And of course, if you want to get yourself a copy of Wirecast, Wirecast Pro, go over to geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast. Geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast. Thank you very much for that. And of course, uh, the Wirecast is not a free program, but it's a great way for you to do things like put these lower thirds on, put the graphics on. Uh, and I've got several tutorials. All you have to do is look over at youtube.com forward slash geekazine and look for the playlist uh, YouTube uh, tutorials or Wirecast tutorials and go from there. So let's take a look at Wirecast because like I said, there's two ways to do this. And we're going to start by showing you this is my this is my Wirecast. You're seeing it as it goes. You're seeing my voice over here going, hi, how's it going? And, and of course, this infinite loop right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up to output and we're going to go up to output settings. And of course, it's saying, yeah, we've already got uh, something going, but and I'm going to bring this in here. So basically what we've got, we've got two different options here. We've, you can create a Wirecast option, or you can create an RTMP server option. We're going to start with this. So basically what you would do is you'd hit add, and you'd say your, your destination. You'd go down here and say, I'd say Facebook, and say OK. And that would bring you this right here. Um, I called it Wirecast Test Destination Facebook Encoding. You can't change anything on this because uh, this is this is what Facebook really wants you to do any type of live video at, which becomes slight a problem. But uh, we won't get it. We'll get into that in a minute here. So um, and of course this could change. You know if you're watching this six months from when I actually recorded this, there might have been some ed changes to this whole program. So uh, check it out. Try the Wirecast test as a test. And if it does the same thing, then you'll know uh, you'll know not to do that. So um, I, what you have to do is you basically have to sign in to here. So you basically, I, I would say change. It would bring up my uh, Facebook login. You put in your username and your password, and you hit login and go from there. Since I'm already here, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. From here, you can choose your regular profile or any of the pages. You can't do groups at this point in time. I wanted to I wanted to create a group of podcasters and then do some live stuff to there. But you can't do groups. You can do groups if you use your phone and you go back and forth that way. Um, and I don't know if Wirecast Go will let you use your phone or not, but if you use that, you can. That's, that's the way you can do that through groups. But if you want to do something like this through a camera, through a setup uh, like that, then you can't do that from there. Uh, so, But basically, you can do it on any of your pages. You can do it on your main profile. I've got several pages here which I can do. Of course, I do Geekazine here. Um, and that privacy is set to public. So what I would do is I'd say, hey, I want to test on Facebook. And I'd say, testing Facebook, Telestream, Wirecast. And then I'd hit this Create button. Now, you have to do this every single time you do a live stream. Because what it does is it creates what's called an RTMP URL, which then uses it for, for the streaming option. If you hit stream, it's just going to blink and say, hey, something's wrong, and then stop. So you hit create and go from there. It's going to create an RTMP like this one right here with, uh, with the RTMP and the unique password. The unique password only sticks around for, uh, for 24 hours. And of course, if you don't say start, then it won't create it for you. Now, that's a little bit confusing, but it, it, it's, this is straightforward. This is how you would do that here uh, without having to copy and paste anything over. So, um, But then you have this thing right here, stream delay. There's one more thing. And, of course, you can say, I want to delay a few seconds. Uh, uh, 
I'm not exactly sure the best reason why you would want to do that because there's no way that you can stop any profanity on there or stop anything happens on there. Um, but uh, you can set a stream delay and go from there. Uh, maybe in the future there'll be some other options that'll really show it up and that will help out with all this this recording. So when I do it this way, when I did this way, I had this major problem. And the problem was it would it would push live, no problem. But when it pushes live, and you'll see here, uh, we'll go back to the screen here, um, up on top you have this connection area. And uh, I, I'm, I've never seen this happen with Wirecast, so I'm guessing this was an update at one point. But you know how where it says record right here, it's a red line around the record. Um, when it's, you have stream, you have that red line, but sometimes it'll hit yellow. And that only hits yellow when this connection is down to one to two bars or no bars at all. And for some reason, when I do Facebook Live through that way, it shows, it, it, it just drops down to nothing. And then I've got this, this orange thing, which I don't know if it's, it's going to Facebook or not. It does, but it drops packets. Uh, and video and audio packets. Now, if you know Wirecast, you know that it that it doesn't work on a constant bit rate. It works on a variable bit rate. So, if I stand, if I sit like this without moving at all, that's supposed to freeze the the, the uh, frames per second down. So it'll it'll fluctuate from uh, 30 frames a second to 15 frames a second back and forth, depending on what the screen is doing. When it pushes out to Facebook. Facebook doesn't see that. So it sees a video file this big and an audio file this big and then tries to stretch it all across. And when it's said and done and does the final encoding, it creates this file where the audio is way off from the video, way off from the video. And it's very important that you know this because uh, we had this problem back a couple years ago when YouTube started doing live streaming. And now Facebook is doing the same thing. And this is the only, this way, by doing it this way, you will have that problem. So, uh, and once again, if you're watching this six months down the road, it might be resolved. But for now, there's a problem with how the streaming goes here. So what we want to do is we want to set up RTMP. And that's, that's pretty straightforward as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. And of course, we're going to go back to output and we're going to go to output settings and we're going to create an RTMP. But well, first of all, what we want to do is we want to go over to our Facebook page. And you're actually going to your, your Facebook page on Chrome, on Firefox, whatever. And what you're doing, go to the page here. And of course, here's geekazine.com. Morning, I do a show called Morning Geeks every Friday. And uh, if, uh, you have all your options up here. One of the options is called Publishing Tools. You can't see it up here because I don't have it in the screen. But you hit Publishing Tools. It'll be right there. Um, it says Publishing Tools. And then you hit come into your Publish the Stuff and look at, your, at all your reach and stuff like that. But you want to go to your Videos. And you want to go to this button right here, Live. We're going to press Live. And that's going to bring up this little thing right here. This is going to give you your server stream uh, with the RTMP and the stream key. Now, this stream key is kind of like a password, and this stream key will change every single time. So it really doesn't matter if you copy this stream key because it really it's not going to do anything if you put it into your Wirecast. Um, because every time I create a new one, a new live video, it'll create a new stream key. Um, if I want a secure connection, if this is a private Facebook uh, page, and I don't want everybody to see. I'll cho choose a secure connection. And of course, I'll get an RTMPS. Um, I haven't tried any secure uh, connection with Wirecast, so I'm not sure how that works. But if you're just doing a regular show like I do, then this is perfect. This, there's no problem here. These are the two things you want. You want your server URL and you want your stream key. Now, what you then do is you go back to your Wirecast. You go to Output and you go to your Output Settings. And this time you do add, and we say an RTMP server. And let's do that again. So, and I already have the RTMP server up here. Now, what this is, uh, you can change the name if you want to, the destination. The best part is I can change the encoding. And what I did was instead of going for 25 kilo, uh, megabits, uh, two, was it 2,500 kilobits per second, excuse me, um, I kind of uh, bumped it down a little bit. You could do if you've got 
if you've got a good connection, nobody's using it at the time, and then you can keep it where it is. And I could keep mine where it is, but I, I just like to bump it down just a touch because this is just a stream. I'm still recording the video at the same time. So, um, and, and so the two things that you need to uh, think about are the address and the stream. This is the address that you put in here, and, and everybody's pretty much got this. It's uh, rtmp-api.facebook.com uh, colon 80 slash rtmp. That's generic. Everybody will have that. That will stay constant for your shows. It's that stream key that'll be the difference. And so what you do is from, you remember that stream key that's over here, you take that stream key and then you put it uh, over, to the, uh, over to the output as well. Let's bring this back up. Okay, so, so this is where that stream key gets entered. And now, if you don't do this at the beginning, it won't start a stream for you. As simple as that. So once you put that in, you can also say stream delay. Same thing right here. I've got a bit rate, uh, 1692K. So I've got that ready. So now uh, I don't have this key in here. So I, if I hit stream, it's going to come red light and then it's just going to start to blink. And then it's going to say, hey, I can't publish the stream because the, the credentials are wrong because I've already I've already used this stream and uh, go from there. But if I put in this stream key over here, which I have 24 hours to do, and I can even change the preview here. Now, this is the best part about this, is now I can actually put in all my show notes. I can add a title. I can add video tags. I can't put in an image yet, but I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. And there's my, there's my uh, URL. There's my stream key once again. Um, and, and then I can get this going from here. One thing you want to notice right here, it says don't put third-party video ads into your live video. That means I cannot, uh, this, this show is not sponsored by anybody. Um, I can't do mid-rolls or anything like that. Uh, so you got to be very, very careful when, you, when you're doing that if, you, if you've got sponsored dollars behind you for this. So, uh, but anyway, so I can put all this stuff in. I can put in my tags and my video title and my, and my notes so I can have that all ready. When I hit that go live, then I, it, it goes live. But of course, it's grayed out right now because my Wirecast is not set to stream. So you have to go back here. You have to hit the stream button, then you go back to your page. The go live will ungray itself, and you'll be able to go live and go from there. Pretty straightforward. And then, uh, and then, of course, you can watch this um, and go f and uh, you can watch this and watch on the screen. You can actually pause the video, and what it'll do is it's pretty cool. It'll actually advance frames every 10, 15 seconds. So you can keep an eye on what your video is doing, if it's frozen or anything like that, um, without having the video come back to you and uh, waste up all your bandwidth here. So, but then you go, you're, you're going back here, the stream button would be active. It'll, uh, the connection will be fluctuating uh, bars depending on what your, uh, what your bandwidth is like. And of course you can watch your frames and your CPU stuff like that. If I hit stream and record, and all of this is being done in 720p, even though this, this uh, machine can handle a 1080, uh, 1080 stream, and I am recording right now in a full 1080 video. Um, but uh, in, in, when it comes to streaming and recording, I decided to go 720 on both of them. That way I'm not, I'm not maxing out any resources, and uh, I'm, I'm getting you the video without stutters or, or stops. Because, you know, the stutter can come from the bandwidth. The stutter also can come from the computer. If the computer gets bogged up a little bit or it's got to write stuff to the hard drive or anything like that, it might take a, a, a millisecond to pause. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So that's why I decided to go 720p when it comes to using Wirecast to stream and record at the same time. So, but basically that is it. You can actually, it, it's just like if you're using your YouTube Live or your Ustream Live or your or live stream Live, you can do the same thing with Facebook. There's two ways to do it. One through the Facebook Live option, which I don't recommend at this point in time because Facebook mucks up afterwards. But then there's the straight from Facebook setting up an RTMP uh, connection. You can control things a little bit better. And what it does is it pushes there and it records at Facebook 
so you don't have that frame frame to audio difference there it's all, it all becomes one video and of course i tested that a couple times before and after and uh and it's it's just some great quality and the best part is you've got an awesome video to add to your page because a facebook page is a great way to bring more audience in. Um, and I can tell you from my videos that I've done, even the ones that messed up, you know, I'm getting like some mad viewage from people I have no idea. I mean, six to 7,000 people reached 500 to 1,000 views over the weekend. And, and uh, you know, for a podcast, that's a that's a big thing, you know. A lot of people are, are striving for the 100 to 500 range. I'm striving for the 500 to 2,000 range, and that's pretty cool when it comes to shows. So the bottom line is, when you go over, uh, going really quick, you go to your publishing tools, you go to your videos, you go to your live, you uh, create that, you grab the RTMP information. As you can see, the password has changed. You can even put in your title and information from there and then uh, turn around and put it into Wirecast and hit that live stream button so you can live stream and get ready to go. And I highly recommend to stream and record because you cannot pull the recording from Facebook. They don't have that option yet. I've talked to some people at Facebook and they said, yeah, that, we, we know about that. And then we're looking into seeing about uh, being able to pull down the videos that you put up there. But for right now, can't do it. So anywho, I hope that answers your question because this is a great feature. Um, you can stream live on Facebook. You can record. You can then push it to YouTube or whatever. Um, you can actually replay and <laughs> go live on another service and have your show in, in, in a couple different areas. And of course, spreading yourself out, bringing fans to whatever platform they're going to, that's a key right there to get more viewers, more subscribers, and more content. So, And of course, if you need Wirecast, all you have to do is go over to geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast for that. And if you have Wirecast and you just want to say, hey, thanks for all these videos, tip me over at paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers, paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers. Um, you can check me out over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. And of course, this was the tutorial on how to do Facebook Live uh, Wirecast tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, you guys geek out and take care.